Hello grade 6 and welcome to this week's weekly breakdown. So we are starting the second topic of unit 4 and we are still talking about the earth system but in this lesson we are going to talk about the earth's interior. We are going to focus on the layers that make up earth, the earth. So starting off since Scientists and geologists can't actually go into or the depth of the earth. There are two ways that scientists used as evidence of the earth's layers. There are two main types. There's one that is direct, which is the evidence from rock sample. And there's the other one, which is indirect evidence of systemic waves. So let's start with evidence from rock samples. The scientists, they drill into the rock to try to learn or use these rocks in labs to model or recreate similar conditions to the inside of the earth to see how the rocks will be affected by those conditions. Also, evidence from systemic waves, whenever earthquakes occur, geologists record the systemic waves and they try to study them so they can actually know how they make up or forms the rock in the earth's interior. After many research, the earth layers were divided into three main layers, the crust, the mantle, and the core. So during this lesson, we are going to talk about each one and understand the difference between each layer. We're going to start off with the crust, and the crust is the outer layer of Earth. And crust has two types, the oceanic crust and the continental crust. And then moving on, we know that there is the mantle. The mantle has a uppermost and a lowermost part. So there's an upper mantle and a lower mantle. And it is affected by high temperature and it makes up a sphere that geologists called lithosphere. As for the core or the dense center of the earth, it is also divided into two parts. The outer core, which is a liquid, and the inner core, which is a solid. So we are going to discuss the outer and the inner cores and we are going to talk about how the core and the earth magnetic field are aligned and as usual we are going to use online quizzes and interactivities to assess our knowledge and that is it for this week thank you so much sixth grade